Good afternoon. So I made really good timing on the vlog this morning. It is live now. Um, so I decided to take Eve on a little walk before I go to the gym. So it's 11.30 and it already is hot out, which is nice because it feels like Florida again. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about our infertility stuff because a lot of people have been asking if we are going to Chicago to meet our new niece, which we are. Um, we just have to see still if we're going to be doing the study or how we'll be moving forward with the IVF first. So once that's situated, we will definitely let you guys know when we're headed up to Chicago. Peter's home. This is my, my, my ritual when I come home. <laughs> I change and then I snuggle her. So today I took a recipe that Megan and Katie took from us and made it their own and then I took that recipe that they made and made it our own. So it's a chicken chili. Chili beans, black beans, white beans, zucchini, carrots. What else? Onions, peppers, tomatoes. Looks kind of not so appetizing there, but it's really good. We are eating on the go today because we wanted to get to Animal Kingdom with at least a little bit of sunlight left. It closes at 8. It closes at 8. We got our celebratory Red Bulls from our... Um, whatchamacallit competition last night we both won we so <laughs> we both got a red bull and i realized i didn't say that there's also potatoes in the chili so it's a little bit more filling um we're trying so, to yeah. go on a run tonight but we may end up at the movies tonight because we're going to springs after yeah back. that's the plan well maybe maybe we don't go to the movies maybe we just go to springs, springs. And enjoy mm -hmm. actually in the back you can see all of the donation um, stuff we've to We're gonna off. donation. What we're going to donate. <laughs> Sarah's getting dropped off at the donation. She's gone. She's up for donation. Any takers? Me! <laughs> no donation for Sarah. <laughs> oh, there you go. You're all set. This little menu is new. Everything here sounds absolutely. I got, this bottom one is not real because it says deep dish Tomato pizza. That's cheese. not deep dish. <laughs> but butternut but squash, squash, potato, and prosciutto. <laughs> pizza. The meatball and polenta. And all of them are snacks. Uh, I want polenta. See that little Oh yeah, those thing? little snack credits. Yeah, I just want to get a dining plan next time. Can we, when we're staying at Vero Beach, we can't do dining plan there. Next time we stay on property, we're getting dining plan. Have we talked about a thing in Vero Beach? I think we've hit it. I think we it. talked about it in the live stream. Oh, so, especially on the actual edited vlog. Sarah's birthday is in May. We're going to Vero Beach for the first time ever. For the weekend. The last couple of times we've been at Animal Kingdom, the safari's been closed, like with it being like, I don't know, maybe dark and it closing well, down early? Well, and it says right here, the sign right there says, last safari will depart at 7 p.m. Aha. Uh -huh. go yeah, yeah, so maybe that's, I never realized that. I, what do you think it has to do with animals the darkness the and the animals? Yeah. Yeah. We got a fast pass. Have fun on your safari. Thank you. It's a nighttime safari. It's a dusk a safari. safari. Dusk, which is one of the prime times. I just want to hang out in here. We um, should get our vows renewed there. Okay. Um, this is not a 35 minute wait. This is a walk on. We do not need a fast pass. Thank you. Look at that. My name is Neil, and I'll be your safari guide tonight through the Harambe Wildlife Preserve. And whenever you see a group of hippos, that's actually called a bloat of hippos. The hyenas are, of course, best known for that sort of laughing noise that they make. Yet, there are actually two baby giraffes over there. You can see the one a little bit later. But to see a lion resting is not too rare a sight. They rest about 16 to 20 hours every single day. Now, the females are the hunters in a pride of lions. The male will stay back to protect the young while the females are out hunting. I'd like to say Quaharini to all of you. Quaharini means go well. I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your time here in Africa and that you all have a great rest of the day wherever the journey ends up taking you. That was a fun, like, relaxing safari, but Matthew Broderick was definitely... It was legitimately Ferris Bueller giving our safari. My name is Neil and I'll be your safari guide tonight through the Harambe Wildlife Preserve. Incredible. 
One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. It's not only Ferris Bueller kind of making fun of, um, what's his name? His friend? I remember it earlier. Cameron. Yeah, it's not like Matthew Roderick making fun of Cameron. Just a humble tree. Not giving life to anything or nothing. Ooh, that was kind of creepy. That's how I feel when I see the tree of life. I get so pumped. If you didn't know, this is called Rivers of Light. Sarah and I think the show's okay, but we absolutely love the music. Yeah. We've never seen it from this. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting misted right yeah, we're now. We're getting misted. Ah. I mean, there was a two-hour gap. How many times can Sarah film the Mickey to Mickey in one vlog? Oh wait, I just realized we may want to speed up because I don't know why. Well, yeah. I think Rivers this, of Light is about to get out and. Uh, I think it just did actually, which means our dinosaur plan may not work. Okay, currently, even though the mass exodus from uh, Rivers of Light is heading towards Dinosaur, it, the MDX still says five minutes, and we're about to do a little secret. We're gonna go through the gift shop at the end and actually go up the. We're gonna cut through the exit area, but when you get to the front of the, that'll bring us to the building, then we'll go to the actual entrance of Dinosaur, but then we're bypassing all that crowd, trying to sneak in through. And over here, we got Chip Dale and Pluto having a bubble party over there. Now there's no crowds. We're going through the other side of this dino store. We're gonna go over here, through. Right here where this lit building is, Dinosaur, it's, the, it's where you come out of the exit. But what people don't realize sometimes is that this connects to the front of the building. And we can follow this pet to the front. Essentially just cutting out like an extra block of walking and crowd. This remix of Let It Go though. It's pretty solid. And I don't know why this, yeah, I know this looks disgusting because it's just like a slobbering dinosaur, but it always makes me so thirsty. Here we are in front of this dinosaur, there's a little path. I don't actually don't think there's a mass exodus heading this way now, but you never know. You always got to be cautious. It is up to a 10 minute wait now. And then it's on to the tour that will convince you forever that the future is truly in the past. I'm doing my these hints on our Instagram story to see if we can guess what ride we're about to Welcome to our let's roll. This is literally what we saw today on the safari. It was a, a giraffe and a baby giraffe. So it's finishing up an artsy fartsy Instagram post. I didn't even realize you were wearing a Dumbo. Oh yeah. Hood band. Do you like it? I love it. What's the shop's name again? Main Street Traveler. We'll put this stuff down below, skis mm -hmm. for it. I don't know if those ones are out yet though, but they should they be. They are. They are now? Yeah. Perfect. I'm looking for vlogs to watch while I work out. So if you have any suggestions, ones, right? any kind, but like mostly non Disney. Non Disney. Yeah. Got some variety. All genres. Well, well, here is the famed NBA experience. Construction's coming along. They're taking their sweet, sweet time. I feel. We have not talked about this whatsoever, but here we are at the club, at the House of Blues. And uh, we were here last on my birthday for a little surprise, and we're in for another surprise tomorrow. Yes. Is we it there? Are seeing, yeah, it's, it's right here. Andrew McMahon in the wilderness again. With, oh, there is people. 
Which with floor and grizz folk. Mm. Doors open up at 6 p.m. Shows at 7. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. It's so last minute, and like I haven't even been able to like wrap my mind around it. So last these week, these are our favorite people. These are our favorite people. Last yeah. year for my birthday. And so last week I said, Sarah, you know what? Well, we need to buy these tickets to go see Andrew McMahon. So we bought them. So tonight, when you, if you're watching this vlog the day it posted, we will be going to see Andrew McMahon that night. We'll be back in Disney Springs. Yes. So get ready for tomorrow's vlog, mostly Springs and concert vlog. We just are obsessed with Andrew. We He's are. The best. This is my sixth time seeing. Woo! <gasps> Woo! Sarah's trying to join the band over here. Woo! These are my favorite people, but they're always like changing in and out people. Right. Is it truly a visit to Disney Springs by the Book Up Project if we don't go to the infamous, the one, the only Sugar Boo & Co. Even though there is currently a Sugar Boo stand at Festival of the Arts at Epcot. We always like to come look at these signs, but look what Sarah found. We put our magazines in there. We can get rid of, we can get this if we get rid of that really big basket. Guys, we have this big basket that I just can't part with, but we have nowhere to put it right now. And a piece of it broke off yesterday. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Hey, what? What was like the theme song of Marathon Weekend? Good song, Happy. Happy by Pharrell. You might not be able to tell, but he's breaking it down. He's playing Happy by Pharrell. Oh <laughs> It's and been it's like peppermint. two months and it's peppermint. <laughs> wow. That was such a traditional event for us. We have to we have to have to follow it up. With some classic hand washing, but it looks like there's a ghost over there. On the the stairs over there. It looks like there's like a white ghost, like a gown. I don't see it. Ah. <laughs> What are you going for? Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Citrusy. Citrus flavor city. Here are the prices, just so you know. Two for 60, 35 each. Now I gotta find my peppermint. Rob the gold, my peppermint. Puff Our flavors were together. This makes me want to go to the Grand Flurry and just hang out in the lobby. We haven't not done that in a while. Ooh, it tickles me a good. Without even really planning it, we just started walking towards the exit and we were going up the escalators and we were like... I guess we're going home. I guess we're leaving. But we did kind of talk about... Yes, yeah, so we did kind of talk about being like a relaxing bit and how I may go on a run when we get home so we didn't want to stay out too late or go see a movie. Um, oh. Is that a car? No, we're down here. We're, okay. It's always a gamble sometimes if you went down the right aisle or not because you can't just walk across. So sometimes you go on the wrong aisle. You're walking an extra five minutes. Whew. So Peter's on his run and Eve refuses to hang out with me. She must wait for him. He's sweaty. He's very close to me. And Eve loves my sweaty calves. Eve. Gross, Eve. I'm watching Chicago. We're going to do the daily message and we got to sign off because I'm it's tired. It's time. I gotta take a shower. Um, did six miles today, and because it was beautiful out, I destroyed my time, so that was cool. Um, roll up my legs to make sure my calf is good. I talked to my mom on the phone, I talked to the bugs on the phone. Talked to Eve on the phone, <laughs> on the play phone. All right, today's the sixth. It's by Conan O'Brien. If you work really hard and you're kind, amazing things will happen. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Um, really good day for a Wednesday hump day. Hope everybody had a great hump day. As you're watching this, you're super close to the weekend, so be pumped. Don't Eve doesn't really love me right now. She just loves the salt from the Ew. sweat. Um, but it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.